Well, I already reported myself to the HOD. You think I'm joking, right? I'm on it. What's happening here? Do some other stuff, and then when I'm done, I'll just I'll send the project down to him, and I will see what he would give me. Okay, that's fine. Helen. Yeah. It's nice seeing you. I didn't believe you would make it to class today. Oh please. <laughs> Anyways, I need to get going. I need to finish Mr. Ines project. Oh, it is always that man's project. The truth is, I don't have much time. You know he likes us to submit our project on time and go through thorough research. Wait, what is it about this man? He is the only lecturer in this school that is so difficult to deal with. Suzanne, there is nothing difficult about this man. Just do what he asks us to do and you'll be good. Oh please, Paul, come off it. Look, this man doesn't roll with any student. There's nobody he talks to. He doesn't even like money. He doesn't like beautiful girls like me. <laughs> Susan, just leave him alone. You are making it look as if he has a problem. Meanwhile, he doesn't. Just do the right thing as a student. Oh, no. All I'm going to do is that I will make sure I get to him. Susan, he's not like other lecturers. You'll get to him, right? I pray you don't regret it. <laughs> you just watch. I pray you don't regret it. Ah, oh, just watch. Anyways, I'll get going now. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. All right then. <laughs> I think I should go back and walk my charms on that lecturer. Come in, the door is not locked. Good day, sir. Good morning, old. Okay, what's your name? Sit down. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. My name is Susan. Susan. Yes, sir. Let me check. I'm not sure I have an appointment with you today. I know you don't have an appointment with me, sir, but I came because I was thinking you could make it easier for me to understand the project. Understand? About what? Sir, I, I'm trying to work on the project, but it hasn't been easy for me. So, I was thinking I could come see you, you know, to make you happy. Make me happy. How do you mean? Sir, I could... You're a man. I'm sure you know there are a lot of ways a lady like me can make you happy, you know? Scratch your back while you scratch mine. But I didn't complain to you that my back hurts. Come on, sir. I know you understand what I mean. You're just trying to be difficult. Stop beating around the bush. Just tell me what you want. Okay, sir. I want to make you happy. Look at me, I'm very beautiful and I think there are a lot of things I can do for you. Go straight to the point. Okay, sir. The work you gave us last week, I didn't do it. Your name is Susan Williams? Yes, sir. You were not in my class last week? Yes, sir. I was out of town, so I couldn't make it to the class. So I was hoping I would come so we can strike a deal. Susan, there is nothing I can do for you. Come on, sir. There are a lot of things you can do for me. And I also know there is a lot I can do for you. I said there is nothing I can do for you. 
Sir, we can have an understanding. I said leave my office. Okay. I can see you're really proving hard to get. Well, I know people like you. If you don't leave my office, I'll call the security on you right now. You don't have to do that. Can you just imagine? I will definitely make sure you fail my project. Again. But I'm not expecting you. <laughs> You're not supposed to expect me this time around, Mr. Ernest. What do you want? Now get out of my office. Not so easily. What are you trying to pull up? What audacity? The same audacity you had when you had sex with a lady yesterday at Marion Hotel. What? Yes. And you also had the effrontery to film it. I saw everything. What are you talking about? You want to act like you don't know what I'm talking about? Do you want me to show you evidence because I have it right here with me? <laughs> Look at you. I am so happy I can bring up this expression on your face. See how shocked you look. Mr. All Saints Ernest. <laughs> you know, I am really so happy I can make you this shocked. So you're scared, right? I came here to let you know that I have the evidence for me. And I hope that with these few points of mine, I have been able to convince and not confuse you that I, Susan Williams, deserve an A in your course. And don't you try me. Because if you do, everyone will be watching this. Mr. Ernest, what is the meaning of what you did? I told you I wanted an A in your course and you went ahead to fail me. What are you doing in my office and why are you shouting? Oh, I'm shouting, right? You are going to know how much I will shout when I get this to the social media platform. And I will make sure all the school social media gets it. And I'll also find a way to get it to HOD. You wouldn't need to do that. I wouldn't need to do that. You're trying to calm me down? Well, I already reported myself to the HOD. You think I'm joking, right? I'm on it. What's happening here? You asked the HOD to be present. <laughs> That's fine then. Susan, how dare you blackmail Mr. NSA with his private life? The lady in the video is his fiancée, and we all know her. No, ma. The lady in question is a student. Mr. Ellis here makes students sleep with him just because he wants them to get good grades. Yes, she's a student, but she's not a student of this school. She only comes to the staff club to see her fiancée, and we all know her, even if she's a student of the school. They are engaged already. Oh. I, I didn't know about that. I'm, I'm sorry, ma. Mr. Ernest, I'm very sorry for the misconception. I'll leave now. Not so fast, Susan. For going as far as blackmailing a lecturer for your own purpose and your own benefits, just to get good grades. <laughs> I'm disappointed. You're going in for it. Don't you know blackmail is a criminal offense and it's illegal? I'm, I'm sorry, ma. 
Please, Mr. Ernest, I'm sorry. I didn't know she was your fiance. Officer, please take her away. You're under arrest for blackmail. Whatever you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to a lawyer, and if you don't have one, the state will provide one for you. Please, ma'am, come with me. I'm sorry. H.O.D., thank you so much. I really appreciate this. <laughs>